I'm trying to reset the fucking scores. Now I gotta be tabbed in. Alrighty, let's go ahead and get into this next set. We got Garrett going up against Julian. This is loser's bracket right now, so whoever loses this is going to be sent out of the tournament. We are going to be seeing the greatest civvy skin known to man. I haven't actually seen the next, the newest one, but I still think this is probably the best one. And Garrett looking super good in this game one right now. Starting off super hot with the civvy. Okay, gets the up tilt. That's going to lead into a second one. Not going to punish the air dodge right there, but just waits for him to land on the ground and knew that he was going to try to, uh, try to do something defensive. Garrett kind of fishing for these back airs. I don't know what type of tech that was supposed to be, but um, that's going to be a back throw punish. What are we going to see after? Goes for a forward air. No up B. Tries to punish with the star. Another star incoming. Yep, Garrett just going to avoid it. I did not know Civvy spins like that when he's falling. It's kind of funny. No punish. Um, parries and then does a instant fair. I'm, I don't know. Oh, no. Dashed up just a little bit in the forward smash. Going to be able to take that stock all the way to town. Garrett going to be coming in with the Heracles, the movie Heracles skin. I love this skin so much. All right, Garrett getting him all the way off stage. That ball was not going to hit anything, but, you know, it's all good. Yeah, he's forcing him to jump, but he's not punishing the jumps. Okay, gets the shield break in this... Uh, I mean, hey, that was kind of stylish. I don't know if it was needed, but takes the stock in a stylish, dominant way. So, oh, this is the Civvy skin. I've never seen this one before. What do y'all think about this skin? All right, what's the option going to be? Oh, punishing the na the, the down B with the uh, get up attack. All right, has the ultimate on deck. Will we see the usage of it? He's running out of defensive options, so what is Garrett going to do with this ultimate? Uses the Fury, kind of baits it out, and that's another down B, sending him all the way up to the end of the, or uh, to the top of the map. We got to see this ultimate get used before he potentially loses his stock, and that's going to be the best time to use it. Doesn't even do so. Uses a down B. I guess he knows that he can take this stock without needing to use the ultimate, potentially just rob the Tarara with it at zero or something. Oh, and that forward air, yep, that's going to get the clip on the punish for the side B. And that kill animation is super nice. What is Garrett going to do to go ahead and take this game? Oh, tries to get the rob right there with the forward air into the neutral B ultimate. That actually would have been pretty cool to watch. I don't know if Julian would have been able to get out of that one. Okay, falling up air. That's two up airs. Goes for a crazy combo finisher right there with the down B. And you can see him kind of upset that he didn't get the hit. And that's the, like, fifth Fury we've seen today. This man is not playing around. Oh, my God. That would have been so clean. Oh, no. What is this I'm looking at right now, dude? Julian hasn't got a bit of XP towards that level bar. And this is definitely not to the, the Terraria you want to see. Gets the back throw into the up B, though. And he's not out of the game just yet. Now, I can tell you right now that this game could easily be robbed by Julian. 100%. All he needs to do is get a couple of hits in, uh, from the special moves. Get that XP up. And then just farm the life out of this Thanatos. So he's definitely not out of it just yet. But one more hit should go ahead and seal the deal for this stock. Oh, no. Oh. Alrighty, Andy, what the hell? What's up, man? Definitely host Smash Legends tournaments. Tourneys? I don't even know what that is. Alright, Julian trying to start off hot with this Civvy. Definitely not playing around. Goes for the up uh, the up forward throw into the down air. I think that was forward throw down air. Yeah, that's what he was trying to go for. Alright, oh, gets the air dodge, but no punish on it. Tried to read it there. Goes for another down air, of course. Why would you not? You're really not losing much for doing it. He could have got a forward throw. Um, four throw four to air potentially, you know, got him in a worse position, but great DI from Garrett to avoid that. Is he going to go for another one? Okay, there you see it there, and that's exactly what I'm talking about. He's going to be DIing out so he doesn't have to get hit by the down throw, and he was still, or by the down air, he was still holding out, and that forward air got him killed at such an early percent, especially for Thanatos. He just put me in the tourney right now. 
Andy, you anger me by not joining the tournaments, bro. I don't understand it. All right, and the down B punish. Julian does have the gauntlet all the way charged up, so we could be seeing a crazy combo right now, but he's got to get his hit, his hands on, uh, on this Heracles. Knows he's going to jump. Yep, just jumps back. Still no punish on it. That neutral B from Heracles, I'm telling y'all, it is actually a pretty good move. You just have to know how to maneuver around it and make your opponent do something. Otherwise, it's pretty useless. All right, we do have the Fury. Pulls the trigger on the neutral B ultimate. I don't know if he wanted to do that, but he did. So now it is going to be gone. He's going to have to charge that bad boy back up before losing the stock to the Sophia, if at all. All right, and we all know that Heracles was pretty much the mastermind of the game plan in the last game, and the Thanatos was definitely the, the downfall of it. So we we'll seeing if this Heracles can put on a show right now with these 3D glasses he's got on. Ooh, what an insane movement right there. Oh, wait a minute. This Heracles is low-key kind of cooking the popcorn kernels right now. Okay, gets the back throw. Oh, that's going to set him up and force him to jump. Yes, but see what I'm saying? He forced him to jump, but he was not able to punish the jump. That could have been an easy forward air, down air, hell, anything. Could have been another nair and just sent him back off stage. We are going to see the Fury again, so let's see if he pops it and he's going to take the stock with it. Oh, and that should be it. Yep, the down B maneuver from Garrett. He is looking super good with this Heracles. I am not going to lie. But we do have something else to worry about, and that's going to be Tarara. As soon as he gets that level up all the way maxed out, it might just be GG's for this stock and the Civi. Okay, it's the down tilt. Nothing after though. Only a little bit left for the uh, for the level up. If he's gonna be able to get it, and this should be something. No great di from uh, Garrett to avoid that. Has the ultimate and has fury, and that's gonna be it. Here, uh, never mind. Great di from Julian actually. Oh no tech, and that's gonna be it. Great awareness from Garrett, knowing that he was gonna have to use the side B and jump out of it at that specific time, punishing it with the fury. There we go. Alrighty, getting into the third and final match of this set right here. Like I said before, whoever loses this set is going to be out of the tournament. And I honestly have no idea who's going to do so. Garrett was looking super good in game number one. And he looked ex excellent in game number two. But we just got to make sure he doesn't fall off the damn stage again. Alright, that's going to be a back throw. Knowing exactly how to DI to make sure he doesn't get hit by that down B. To go ahead and get that level up on deck. But he is going to get hit by an up B. So look at how close that meter is to, to being full. <clears throat> okay, the back air. Almost going to do it. Great recovery from him. But he does not have a jump. He gets clipped by the Nair falling down. And that's going to be it for that first stock. Now Garrett's got to do everything well, I guess not everything. He's got to take this stock at least away from the Tarar with the Heracles, and we all know he's capable of doing so. Let's just see how he's going to manage to do it. Only a couple more hits. One more hit with a special move, and that's going to be it. The level up is going to be all the way. Uh-oh, and this could be it. No, doesn't punish it with the special move. I guess he could have ledge dropped baseball or something like that. Doesn't really matter. All he needs is one. And Garrett's very aware of that. He's trying to get it with the baseball, He's going to have to try to find another way to get this bar full, uh, filled. Yeah, and Julian's recognized that the baseballs have got him pretty much all that damage that he's got on him right now. And Garrett's got the Fury on deck. He's got a couple more side side hits to get uh, to get the ultimate on deck. We've seen that it did a lot of damage in that last game. So, oh my god, charging the up B at that right time. He's going to go ahead and take that stock away from the Terraria. And now he doesn't really have to worry about much except getting hit by a Civi combo. Okay, up tilt, up tilt. Tries to go for a third there. This is not pre-pre-pre-patch, Heracles, sir. Okay, the forward air. Oh, 
Oh, great combo right there. Gets the ball into the forward air. And I don't even know why he got up. That was actually insane for him to get up there. I would have been scared and just dropped down. Julian showing he's got some cojones on him, though. See if he's going to be able to punish this side B from him. No, not going to be able to do so. Kind of trying to farm these back ears right here. And Garrett does have Fury on deck once again. If he does use the um, mechanic to blow up the Fury, that's going to be it. Gets hit with a back air anyways. And that's going to be the second stock gone. Julian now down to his last stock of this tournament. Oh, we're seeing the Super Saiyan Sandy on the screen right now. I don't know what we are going to see, but I hope it's going to be a crazy combo. Garrett might just be able to take this stock right now. Uh-oh. You got to stop trying to do things that are unsafe. Sandy can punish you and kill you instantly. You got to be careful if you're Julian right now. How is he going to get off of this ledge? Oh, no. Bandy going to drop off the screen, but Sandy is still here. Oh, my God. Where is he going? Hello? He's trying to force him to do something. Potentially get an up B after the bandy. What's the option going to be here? You got to be so careful. Bandy ledge trapping is low-key kind of broken. Okay, gets the dash attack. A move you never, ever see from Sandy. What's bandy going to do here? Oh, my God. That parry was godlike, and it was super needed. If he did not parry that, his shield would have broken. He definitely would have died to that next hit. Gets the back throw. Are we going to see a back air? No, goes for an up air, but the Sandy or the uh, the Sophia ultimate is on deck. Could have used it right there, potentially taking the game, but goes for a fourth throw instead, and then drops off and uses the ultimate. That is such a waste, and Garrett now knows he has absolutely nothing to worry about, and this might just be it. It might be a fat GG's. No, going to drop the combo. What are we seeing right now? A lot of scrambling spaghetti. Who's going to take this game right now? I have no idea. Calling out Bandy. Julian going to try to jump over. He's going to have to jump here. Garrett knew he was going to, but he just holds the block button. I actually, absolutely have no idea who's going to be able to win this game. The up, he's going to take it. Julian robbing Garrett off of that last stock and takes the set and sends Garrett out of the tournament. GG's to both players, but oh my God, I did not expect it to go down like that.